20% of babies are born with tear duct blockage. Are you worried about your baby having an eye discharge? Is this something to worry about? Well, a tear duct is a tube that drains tears from the eyes. Tears are made in the glands underneath the eyelids and then the tears would wash over the eyes to keep it moist and clean. When there is a blockage in the tear duct, the tears can't drain. In this video, we are going to talk about tear duct blockage, what are the signs and symptoms, how do doctors diagnose this condition, and what can you do at home to help your baby. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to better raise happy and healthy kids. Block tear duct in babies. Is it a block tear duct? Well, eye discharge is common in newborns and it is rarely a cause for concern. A common reason for eye discharge in newborns is a block tear duct. Doctors refer to this as dacryostenosis or nasolacrimal duct obstruction. So what causes tear duct blockage? Tears are formed in the nasolacrimal gland which sits just above the eyes. The tear fluid cleans and lubricates the surface of the eyes. Now, the tear duct or the nasolacrimal duct um, is found in the corner of the eyes near the nose. So when a person blinks, the eyelids sweep the tears to be drained into the nasolacrimal duct. When there is a blockage in the nasolacrimal duct, the tears are not able to be drained away. This causes watery eyes and there might be sticky discharge that are formed in the corner of the eyes. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, 20% of newborns are born with a tear duct blockage. Tear duct blockage occurs because the end of the tear duct does not open properly when the baby is born. This may happen in one or both eyes. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of tear duct blockage? These signs and symptoms may show up at birth up to 12 weeks of age. And these include more tears than usual in your baby's eyes, even though your baby is not crying. There may be dried crusting on the eyelashes or sticky discharge in the corner of the eyes. There might be mild irritation in your baby's eyes from your baby rubbing it. Um, even though your child has a lot of tears, it usually does not cause much discomfort in your baby. If your baby seems more uncomfortable than usual, then it is best to bring your baby to your doctor. How is tear duct blockage diagnosed? Well, your doctor will ask for your baby's signs and symptoms and would do an examination. It is possible that your doctor might do a painless test using a dye to see if the tear ducts are draining well. Also, your doctor might check for eye pressure and corneal health in case of infantile glaucoma. And your doctor will also check for redness, swelling, or irritation in case of conjunctivitis. We will then talk about what you can do at home to help your baby's tear duct blockage and how is it treated. But before we do that, if you are interested and if you want more training on taking care of your newborn, do check out my website with the link provided in this video. If your baby's eye discharge is due to tear duct blockage, then you need not worry because usually it resolves on its own in four to six months. What can you do at home to help your baby's tear duct blockage? First off, you need to have clean hands. So wash your hands with soap and water. And then if your baby has crusting or some discharge 
in your baby's eyes, then use a gauze or a clean piece of cloth and dip it in warm water and slowly wipe off the discharge. Then you can massage baby's tear ducts. What you do is, of course, you should have clean hands and with the tip of your index finger, touch your baby's tear duct which is at the side at the bridge of your baby's nose and then do two or three downward strokes be gentle but firm and do this twice a day once in the morning and once in the evening if you note that there is redness or swelling stop doing the massage and bring your baby to your doctor to treat tear duct blockage uh, you can do tear duct massaging which I have shown you in the previous video but if your baby keeps getting infections or the blockage does not open up on its own your doctor might recommend you go see an eye doctor or an ophthalmologist the ophthalmologist will perform an eye exam and if your child might need surgery then the ophthalmologist can do different types of surgeries to open up the blockage. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.